Hi, everybody. I thought I'd uh, just take a moment and do uh, a little bit on the tornadoes that are in Oklahoma. There are so uh, there are also tornadoes as far north as the Dakotas at this hour. It's uh, 621 local time here on the West Coast. But then my black line is Oklahoma. There's been a lot of chitter chatter today on, on social media and, and the different posts and blogs about how this would be an impressive tornadic outbreak, and it is happening. So the components of forecasters look for are kind of classic. So this first image, this is the jet stream up, about, up at about 30,000 feet. And where you see the purple, that's 130 knot winds. Right there, that brighter color, that's 150 knot winds. So that's more like 160 miles per hour. Notice these are strong, pretty much due west winds coming across Oklahoma, which is right in here. And then when you get down to 5,000 feet in the atmosphere, the low-level jet bringing moist air out of the Gulf up across Texas into Oklahoma, which is right in here. And notice these winds are 30, 40, as strong as 50 miles per hour. So what you have is very classic intersection of winds are called wind shear, right? So this is directional and speed shear, meaning you've got 150 mile per hour winds up high. You've got as much as 50 mile per hour winds down low. You've got directional wind shear where they're perpendicular to each other. So kind of my crossing lines right here. All of that helps develop rotation. And it's one of the classic things you would look for for tornado development. Now here is the latest uh, satellite imagery with lightning thrown into it. So look at these storms just igniting across Oklahoma and on up into Kansas with a ton of lightning. The cloud heights on these, generally about 45,000 feet, which is not out of sight high. Sometimes in these events, you can see storm heights uh, get as, as big as 60,000 feet. But keep in mind, airplanes fly generally at 30, 34,000 feet. And these cloud heights of these storms are bigger than that. They're at about 45,000 feet. So really interesting. Here's a look from the uh, National Weather Service Aviation Weather Center. And you can see these severe storm watch boxes out for Oklahoma, now up into Kansas, even Nebraska. Some of these storms threatening up into Iowa as well. And I was just clicking on some of the actual observations. This is uh, Ponca City. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Regional, regional airport in Oklahoma. If you go down here, area severe storms embedded, thunderstorms moving from the southwest, tops of the storms above 45,000 feet tornadoes hail four inches in diameter now the hail four inches in diameter that's about baseball size hail getting pretty close to it wind gusts 65 to 70 miles per hour 65 knots about 70 miles per hour or so so that's kind of the observations that some of the people are, are dealing with down in oklahoma here is the national weather service office out of norman and the yellow is the tornado watch the red colors here the bright reds are the tornado warnings there's a, that uh, Ponca City right there with the tornado warning just to their south. Let's go ahead and click on this warning. So this is central time, 8.08. Tornado warning in effect until 8.30 central time. That's another, uh, well, a little ways yet. We're what, 6.30? So about another five minutes on this particular warning. It says the storm is moving to the northeast. That's typical. Tornado is moving to the northeast at 40 miles per hour. Hazard tornado, they're saying golf ball size hail, radar indicated rotation, which means they don't have confirmation on the ground at the time this warning went out. Mobile homes will be damaged, destroyed, damage to roofs, windows, vehicles will occur, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, this storm, including Interstate 35 between mile markers 182 to 201. So kind of a taste of some of the warnings that you would be getting if you were living in Oklahoma right now. Of course, we now live in the age of video and pictures and storm chasers. This is my Twitter feed, just to give you a taste of some of these storms. This was two hours ago. Uh, this particular um, person putting out on X, uh, tornado sirens going off in Oklahoma as an intense supercell moves in. You can see his video right there. Really impressive stuff. And there's a lot more. Here's one. This was actually yesterday. This was... Um, Talking about the tornado outbreak potential in Oklahoma and Kansas, three days in a row of severe weather. Uh, of course, we're now in severe weather season. That's Tornado Alley. This was put out 43 minutes ago by Zachary. Massive supercell in Douglas, Oklahoma. You can see the uh, the supercell signature right there, that kind of crescent-shaped 
arc bow of that uh, kind of a, a bow line of the clouds along the uh, the bottom. And again, this is a massive supercell you can see right there. So tons of stuff on social media. You can Google this on Twitter or X and on Facebook. There's that severe weather area today that the Weather Service projected to be Oklahoma up into Kansas. That seems to be absolutely uh, coming true. So anyway, um, I'm sure this will make national news in terms of if you watch your favorite cable news channel or one of the major networks, you'll likely see some stories uh, of, of unfortunately damage and hopefully nobody loses their life, but a big tornado outbreak uh, underway in the states of Oklahoma and Kansas uh, at this hour.